Sometimes you don't have to go too far to find the best scenery around. Traveling is not just about going miles away to see the best places, but it is finding the best place within your surroundings. Bangalore is blessed with so many places within a close proximity. You can easily visit them to break the 9 to 6 routine or take you out of your work from home setup within 4 walls. If you are looking for some amazing places to visit near Bangalore but can't drive far, then this is the best recommendation you will find on the internet. Today we will be talking about top 10 places to visit near Bangalore within just 60 kilometers. Hey guys, welcome back to Sakri Cubes and this is Sagar. If you are staying in Bangalore, then consider yourself lucky. Because there are so many places within a couple of hours drive from Bangalore. There are a wide variety of places to choose from. You can go hiking, visit a temple, enjoy the waterfalls or visit a lake. We will be talking about all these places in this video. So watch till the end and choose what suits you the best. Please note that Bangalore itself is quite large with a radius of 20 kilometers. One place which is 42 km for people staying in Vijayanagar could be 62 km for people staying in Marathalli. So to keep this listing simple, I have taken Majestic as a point of reference and also included distances from major areas in Bangalore. Let's dive deep into our list of top 10 places to visit near Bangalore within 60 km. On the top of the list, we have Savandurga Hills. It is one of the best and the most difficult trek you can find near Bangalore. Savandurga Hills is one of the largest monoliths in Asia. It is formed by two hills locally known as Karigudda meaning Black Hill and Biligudda meaning White Hill. I have been to Savandurga multiple times before and I totally love trekking at this place. There are no stairs or railings to ease the trek, so it gives you the real thrill of trekking. The initial part of the trek is the most difficult one, after that it becomes quite easy. Once you are on the top, you will find a beautiful statue of Nandi and a 360 degree panoramic view. All your tiredness will vanish away and you will feel it was worth the climb. Savandurga literally translates to hill of death. I am not kidding, there have been so many accidents reported here over the years. So be careful not to go near the edges or run around carelessly. If you want to know more about Savandurga trekking experience, then you can click on the i button above where I have covered the entire trekking experience. There is a very beautiful temple of Savandi Veerabhadreshwara Swami and Narasimha Swami temple at the foothills of Savandurga. Make sure to visit them after the trek. On your way back to Bangalore, you can also visit Manchinbela Dam and Big Banyan Tree. Did you know that this tree is the world's fourth largest banyan tree? It spreads over 3 acres which is equivalent to an entire cricket stadium. Next on the list, we have one of the most trending places near Bangalore, Mandaragiri Hills, popularly known as Basadibetta. This place is famous for its unique pinchy shaped Guru Mandir and statue of Chandranatha Tirthankara. The Mandaragiri Hill is a small hillock with well carved 435 steps. It houses four ancient temples at the top, out of which two are from the 12th century and two are from the 14th century. This place got popular quite recently thanks to all those creative Instagrammers who took stunning photo of the place. Speaking of Instagram, if you are not following us on the Instagram, then please do follow us. We post a lot of quality content there. You can also visit this place in the evening. The sunset from Mandargiri hill looks spectacular. Don't forget to visit Maidala lake which is behind this hill. You will have to walk for about 1 km to reach the lake. It is a very beautiful spot to spend some peaceful time. You can click on the i button to watch the detailed video of this place. Shivagange is yet another challenging trek near Tumkur. The hillocks looks like Shivalinga from far and it is worshipped by locals. Whether you are a devotional person or not, it is worth climbing Shivagange at least once. The trail to the top is guided by steps and railings wherever required. It might look like an easy trek at first but don't underestimate it. The trek is challenging due to the steepness of the hill. One good part of the Shivagange trek is that you don't have to bother about carrying food or water. There are so many small shops throughout the stretch selling one or the other thing. It will be little expensive but the price is justified as they have to carry it all the way up. The last stretch of the trek is the most difficult one, not only because it is steep but also because it is overpopulated by monkeys. Be careful about your belongings, especially at this place. 
Once you're on the top of the hill, you'll be greeted with the panoramic views. You'll see a Nandi statue and a small temple next to it. And on the other side, there is a huge rock called Shantala's Drop. It is believed that Queen Shantala committed suicide from this point. We can spend some time soaking the beauty of the place and clicking some amazing photos. If you are looking for a place to spend time, not only with your family, but also with yourself, then you must visit Pyramid Valley on Kanakpura Road. Apparently, this is the largest pyramid structure in India, towering over 100 feet in height. This pyramid structure is a meditation center. There is a scientific reason behind constructing meditation center in this particular shape. The pyramid shape is proven to trap the maximum cosmic rays that makes meditation at this place three times more effective than elsewhere. I'm not a person who does meditation that often, but I felt 15 minutes of meditation inside pyramid was resonating to the mind. Along with Pyramid Valley, we can also visit Art of Living on your way back. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Guruji founded Art of Living organization as a non-profit educational organization. The major attraction of this place is a meditation center known as Vishalakshi Mantapa. It looks stunning from both outside and inside. You can spend some time here either meditating or chanting mantras. The place looks mesmerizing in the evening with all the lights lit up. Whether you have been to Ramnagar before or not, I'm sure you can still relate to it. Wondering how? Remember the iconic movie Shole? Well, that movie was shot in Ramnagar. Ramnagar is filled with so many hillocks, among which Ramdevara Betta and SRS hills are the popular ones. You can visit both of these hills in a single day. First, let's talk about Ramdevara Betta. There is a very short trek to reach the top of the hill. While climbing this hill, you will be surrounded by lush greenery and chirping of the birds. Once you reach the top, you will see a Sri Ram temple, a small pond and a Nandi statue. Most of the visitors return from this point unaware of the hidden spot of this place. If you take the small trail left to the temple, you will reach the vertical cliff. It might look impossible to climb this hill at first, but with the help of steps and railings, you should be able to reach the peak. Once you are on the top, you will be greeted with the panoramic view of the rocky fields and hills surrounding it. You may see a lot of eagles flying over your head. Wondering why there are so many eagles at this place? That's because Ramdevara Betta is India's only vulture sanctuary. You can sit here for hours and watch vultures fly. Just 20 kilometers from Ramdevara Betta, you will reach Sri Revana Siddheshwara Betta, simply known as SRS Hills. It might look easy to scale SRS Hills at first, but once you start climbing, you will realize it is more difficult than you think. This place is frequently visited by local devotees. They come here to visit Revana Siddheshwara temple at the top. Next to this hill, there is a beautiful lake which you can visit as well. If you are not in the mood to trek, then you should head to one of the lesser known yet amazing destination called Pearl Valley, known as Muttyala Mudu in Kannada. I see a lot of websites displaying photos of some random waterfalls and calling it Pearl Valley. People who see those posts come here with high expectation only to get disappointed by this. Yes, at Pearl Valley there is a teeny tiny waterfalls, so keep your expectation low. There has been a lot of improvements done here including good stays to reach the waterfalls and resting area. You have to climb down around 300 to 400 steps to reach the waterfalls. There is a natural pool at the base of the waterfalls which is a great spot to swim. Next to this pool, there is an endless stretch of forest you can explore. You can step into the woods and go as far as you want. One thing that bothers me is the amount of litter at this place. It's high time that we become mindful about keeping the area clean. You can visit the lake next to the valley. You can avail boating facility at this place, but most of the time it may not be operational. If you are hungry, then there is only one restaurant at this place, Hotel Mayura. Keep this place as the last option as the food is average and expensive. But if you are Madhya Priya, then there is a good news. This restaurant serves alcohol, so you can enjoy your beer while having the great view of the valley.
Timmapanapetta was not a well-known place until our beloved motor blogger Arun discovered it. The iconic view of the twin rocks make this place stand apart from all the places around Bangalore. This is an amazing place if you want to click photos with the backdrop of twin rocks. This place is relatively less crowded, so if you want to spend peaceful time in the lap of nature, then you should come here. There is a Timmapa Swami temple here which you can visit as well. I have covered it in detail in another video which you can check by clicking on the i button above. Totikalu Falls, simply called TK Falls, is probably the closest waterfalls you can find near Bangalore. This is a small yet beautiful waterfalls. From parking, you will have to walk for about 1 km to reach the waterfalls. You can play under the falls and explore the surrounding forest. This is a seasonal waterfalls, so the best time to visit would be in monsoon or post monsoon. During other times, the waterfalls would be dry. This place is close to Art of Living, so you can cover Art of Living, Pyramid Valley and TK Falls in a single day. Umkar Hills is the closest attraction among all the places mentioned in this video. Umkareshwar Temple is located on a hill. From here, you get a beautiful view of the entire city. This temple houses 12 Jyotirlingas that are exact replicas of original Jyotirlingas from different parts of the country. This is one of the finest temples you will see in Bangalore. Along with the temple, there are a few more interesting spots here which I have covered in detail in another video. I am sure you know how to find it now. Just 4 km from Omkar Hills, you will reach Shanmukha Temple. The Shanmukha Temple is first of its kind with an excellent architecture of temple tower. It has 6 faces of Lord Shanmukha built on a hillock. Watching this temple in the evening is treat to the eyes. We can also visit Rajarajeshwari Temple which is visited by locals frequently. Don't forget to have Idli Vada along with hot cup of tea at Kapi Katte. Last on the list, we have Nandi Hills. Ideally, it should have been on the top of the list. The reason for mentioning it at the end is because most of you may already know about it. So let me tell you something that you may not know. Nandi Hills is famous for its sunrise. But did you know that it is an amazing place to watch the sunset as well? Even during weekends, there won't be much crowd in the evenings. Did you know you can actually stay in Nandi Hills? You can book a stay at Mayura Pine Top maintained by Karnataka government. If you visit Nandils in January or February, you get this kind of view where you can see bed of clouds beneath you. You can actually trek to Nandils. There is a trekking trail from the base of the hill all the way to the top. I am sure you would have visited Boganandeshwara temple at the base of the hill. It is indeed a very beautiful temple. But have you visited Sir M. Visheshwara Museum in Muddenahalli? Vishweshwaraya was born in Muddenali and his house has been converted into a museum. You can also visit Memorial to pay tribute to one of the greatest engineers of all the time. That was my list of top 10 places to visit near Bangalore within 60 km. I know there are a lot of other places that were not included. Do let me know which place deserves to be on this list that I missed. If you are new to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, thanks a lot for doing that. We are close to 20,000 subscribers which is insane. It was all possible because of you guys. If you like this video then smash that like button. If you are looking for other places to visit near Bangalore then you can check this video on the left. I'll see you in my next video until then keep traveling. <laughs>